Yo, let's get into episode three, y'all. It's time for the pre-draft interviews. Let's see if I can talk my way into getting this number one spot. <laughs> let's do it, y'all. Greetings. I'm the GM and director of player personnel for the Hornets. In addition to first pick, we also have the 10th pick in the upcoming draft and are looking at you with one of those picks. We would like to get to know you better by asking you a couple questions. Let's get to it. If you were a GM, where would you draft yourself in this draft? I would draft myself at the number one pick for the New Orleans Hornets. That's just me, though. Honestly, I, I don't care about any of that. I want to play for your team, whatever pick it is. To me, it's not about going number one or going in the lottery. I want to go to a team that is a great fit for me, and I definitely think you guys fit that bill for me. Hmm, do you like the way I answer that like a fanboy, like I've been a New Orleans Hornets fan all my life? Man, you got to do what you need to do to get number one. I'm glad he asked me that question. Just looking at it, I think I'm going to get this number one pick, man. Um, they were the first team to ask me a question, so hopefully this is it, man. I answered it like a fanboy, so hopefully he says, oh, great. We're going to sign you up right now. How much money do you want? <laughs> Let's get into it. All right, then. One more. This is a question we ask all our potential draftees, and I want you to answer it as honestly as possible. Where do you see your career going? What do you hope to achieve out of your career? Ultimately, what do you want your legacy to be? In all seriousness, I want to be better than Michael Jordan. <laughs> the GOAT. <laughs> Enough said. Me? I want to be the greatest of all time. If anyone answers you differently, well, pff, they're either lying to you or they don't have the competitive fire to be great. I don't want to be great. I want to be the greatest. I want rings. I want MVP awards. All of those accolades. I want people to talk about me 50 years from now, and they will. Just watch, man. I've got the fire. I've got the drive. And you know what? I'm ready. <laughs> I know that GM is probably like, somebody come and get this guy a straight jacket. Sometimes if you want to be the greatest, you got to be a little crazy. So I'm going all out, y'all. Okay, I think I've heard all I needed to hear for now. You're definitely someone we can use on our team. Now we just need you to be available when it's our turn to pick. Greetings, I'm the GM and Director of Player Personnel for the Bobcats. We have the second pick in the draft, and I'm considering using it on you. I'd like to ask you a couple questions real quick if you don't mind. Well, it's true that our team has a lot of needs. I really feel like a small forward to build around is what would help us the most at this point. I'm going to be looking at all of the available wings in the draft, but I really wanted to get the chance to talk to you first. I just love your game. Tell me, what can you provide to the Charlotte Bobcats? You know what? I'm going to let you finish, but y'all got Michael K. Gilchrist. Y'all good. Easy. I'd be providing the best talent on the team. And truthfully, though, I, I'm not feeling Charlotte right about now. I like the management, but I'm just not a fan of the current roster. I feel like the team is going to be dangling in the wind for some years. I want to join a team that can take my career to new heights right from day one, and I don't see that happening here. Mm, answer like a true champ. You can already tell I'm going for that number one spot. <laughs> I'm passing up everybody but the Hornets. Okay, last question. As a younger team, I feel like we have a lot of opportunities for you. I'm here to tell you that you have a chance to be our franchise centerpiece if you put in the work. How many other teams can offer you that? That being said, we still have a couple of years ahead of us where we're going to be acquiring young talent and assets. We might struggle a bit in those years. Are you going to be able to remain focused during the rebuilding years? See, I don't think he got the picture. I already told him that, you know, this team really isn't for me. But you know what? I'll let him down easy, man. I'm not a harsh guy. Mm, I've never really lost in my entire life. I've always been good enough to propel every team I've ever been on to success. I realize the NBA will be different in that regard, at least at the start of my career. This will really test my patience, but as a man, I'm up for the challenge. You dig me? Let him down nice and easy. I think he'll get the picture from here on out. It's time for me to go to the Hornets. I don't want nobody else. Thanks for your time. It was a little disappointing, to be honest, but I appreciate you being up front with us. Greetings. I'm the GM and Director of Player Personnel for the Washington Wizards. We have the third pick in the draft, and I'm considering using it on you. I'd like to ask you a couple questions real quick if you don't mind. This question is more about how you feel about what we're doing here in Washington. We're a young and upcoming team that is gathering youth to make us more competitive. It's going to be a difficult process, and we can't expect to be a contender in year one. Are you prepared to deal with the highs and lows of an up-and-coming team? 
Of course I'm willing to deal with the highs and lows of an up and coming team, but that team is the New Orleans Hornets. I don't want to go nowhere else. I'm sorry guy, I'm just going to have to let you down. Oh, most definitely. Looking at the roster you have, I love all the young talent on that thing. You got players at every position that are just oozing with potential, man. Oozing. This is a great team for me to get in with while we all grow together as a team. We could definitely be challenging for the East crown within a few years, man. That's for sure. <laughs> Did you peep how I made him jizz a little bit about his team? But at the same time, I gotta let this guy down. I don't want to go here. Next question. Talk about what you have to improve on as you make the jump to the next level. We'd like to see what you think about your game as a whole. Did you have on a blindfold during the rookie showcase? Primarily my focus and being mentally uh, tougher. I need to study the game and watch the players in front of me and learn. I also need to learn from the veteran guys so I can step in and contribute when my name is called. I hope those answers were enough to get this number one draft pick. Episode 4 is coming, y'all. Great answers. I really think you'd fit in great with us. Here's hoping we're able to draft you with our pick.